Uh, Katie from Town Hall. Where's Katie? Right there. Katie? Thank you, Mr. President. You said in your earlier remarks that both sides will have to make compromises when it comes to a peace deal. You mentioned a uh, halt on settlements. Can you lay out a few more specific compromises that you have in mind, both for the Israelis and for the Palestinians? And Mr. Prime Minister, what expectations do you have from the new administration about how to either amend the Iran nuclear agreement or how to dismantle it altogether and how to overall work with the new administration to combat Iran's increased aggression, not only in the last couple of months, but the past couple of years as well? It's actually an interesting question. I think that the Israelis are going to have to show some flexibility, which is hard. It's hard to do. Uh, they're going to have to show uh, the fact that they really want to make a deal. I think our new concept that we've been discussing actually for a while is something that allows them to show more flexibility than they have in the past because you have a lot bigger canvas to play with. Uh, and I think they'll do that. I think they very much would like to make a deal or I wouldn't be happy and I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be as optimistic as I am. I really think the I, I can tell you from the standpoint of Bibi and from the standpoint of Israel, I really believe they want to make a deal and they'd like to see the big deal. I think the Palestinians uh, have to get rid of some of that hate that they're taught from a very young age. They're taught tremendous hate. I've seen what they're taught. And you can talk about flexibility there, too, but it starts at a very young age, and it starts in the schoolroom. And they have to acknowledge Israel. They're going to have to do that. There's no way a deal can be made if they're not ready to acknowledge a very, very great and important country. And I think they're going to be willing to do that also. But now I also believe we're going to have, Katie, other players at a very high level. And I think it might make it easier on both the Palestinians and Israel to get something done. Okay? Thank you. Very interesting question. Thank you. You asked about Iran. One thing is preventing Iran from getting nuclear weapons, something that uh, President Trump and I, I think, are deeply committed to do. Uh, and, and we are obviously going to discuss that. I think beyond that, President Trump has led a very important effort in the past few weeks, just coming into the presidency. He pointed out their violations, Iranian violations on ballistic missile tests. By the way, these ballistic missiles are inscribed in Hebrew, Israel must be destroyed. The Palestinian, the, uh, rather the Iranian uh, Foreign Minister Zarif said, well, well, our ballistic missiles are not intended against any country. No. They write on the missile in Hebrew, Israel must be destroyed. So challenging Iran on its violations of ballistic missiles, uh, imposing sanctions on uh, Hezbollah, preventing them, making them pay for the terrorism that they uh, foment throughout the Middle East and beyond, well beyond. Uh, I think that's a change that is clearly evident uh, in, uh, since President Trump took office. I welcome that. I think it's, uh, let me say this very openly, I think it's long overdue. And I think that if we work together, and not just the United States and Israel, but so many others in the region who see eye to eye on the, uh, on the great magnitude and danger of the Iranian threat, then I think, uh, I think we can roll back Iran's aggression and danger. And that's something that is important for uh, Israel, the Arab states, but I think it's vitally important for America. These guys are developing ICBMs. They're developing, a, they want to get to a nuclear arsenal, not a bomb, a hundred bombs. And they want to have the ability to launch them everywhere on Earth and including, and especially, eventually, the United States. So this is something that is important for all of us. I welcome the change, and I intend to work with President Trump very closely so that we can thwart this danger. 